So whenever you go to accelerate, if you just keep your hand flat neutral where it is, when you go to accelerate, if you just don't do anything with your hand, you're gonna have to keep on bending down, bending down, bending down to finally get back on the throttle and your wrist is gonna be at a crazy position. So there's a bunch of things you could do. Like with the pads of your fingers, you just kind of roll with the pads, right? And you get to the point where your wrist wants to go too far down, then you can just kind of go straight backwards and just use your fingers to continue to pull. You see that? Watch the throttle. So you're just neutral. And as you pull backwards, your fingers kind of go on the throttle a little bit. So you could do that. You could kind of do the inchworm. I know people do this. They kind of just rotate their wrist up a little bit to keep on going. So your wrist doesn't go all the way down like this because you'll run out of wrist. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So you go to accelerate, a little bit of gas. If you want to give it more gas, you kind of hold it in place with your thumb. You could re-reach with your fingers to keep on giving a little bit more gas. Because you're always just trying to prevent your wrist from going too far down like this, right? It's just awkward and it pulls your shoulder down and your body position gets all jacked up. So you could just kind of roll your fingers backwards like that. That's one way you get on the throttle. Not that dramatic, of course. You're not going to be going on the highway or whatever like this. But you could still do the same effect. Right, you see what I'm saying? By still keeping control of the bike as you roll off the same thing as well. So you could go on and off with your fingers, or you could do like the reach back technique, like on the inchworm technique like that if you need to, right? And the same thing with going off the throttle, you could kind of roll back off the throttle, let it slide through your fingers, but you don't ever just want to do this. You just don't want to let go of the throttle and just snap it back, because it's going to dive everything forward, right? But especially when you go to take off and you're going to accelerate, you're at a stop sign, you're at a stoplight, you're moving, you're moving onto the highway. If you just keep your wrist completely where it is, you're going to wind up going way far down. It's going to drop your shoulder. So kind of as you go to get, once you start, once you get about neutral, you can kind of roll your fingers back a little bit. It'll make things a whole lot easier.